My day job is in journalism, but I also have a passion for speculative fiction, science fiction, fantasy. I was actually the first Filipina to win a Hugo Award, which honors excellence in science fiction and fantasy across multiple specific professions. What I love about writing in speculative environments is you have a chance to really push boundaries in terms of working through real world current day issues. It feels very good. It is very freeing and having to cover some very, very difficult stories every single day, much more bearable because I'm doing so with other people who understand the emotional and mental toll that it takes, particularly when we're reporting on issues that affect our own communities and our own families. I want to write books that explore how powerful narrative, being able to identify the narratives that are reflected in our public policies, in education, in entertainment and news media, and not just be able to recognize how they look and what they do, but know how to break toxic ones and reframe them so that we have complete ownership I've been a fire performer for 15 years. I do both fire and non-fire. I use multiple tools, but I use the fire foil. I also have fans. Um, I have swords, so I have wrapped them in Kevlar, Kevlar fabric, which holds the fuel. You know, light them up and then they, eat, they burn down. It's not the light or the heat, it's the sound that fire makes when you're moving it. It's like this roar and it makes you feel powerful and graceful. I'm not a dancer, but I feel like a different person when I am performing with fire. I think Filipinos can be stronger together when we embrace the multiplicities of our identities, but we are also willing to confront our own internal traumas and how they shape the way we see other Filipinos. I think that is an example of how we can be stronger together is recognizing that some of us have more privileges than others and it is really important for those of us with privilege to use that power responsibly and thoughtfully and for the betterment of other people, not just ourselves.